Panasonic has officially announced 4680 battery cell production for Tesla in Japan. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to the channel. All your new subscribers, great to have you. Welcome back to everyone else. Thank you to our Patreon supporters on the channel. You make this channel possible. And by the way, if you're new, we have made over a thousand videos over the past, I think about eight months alone. So make sure you check out some of those videos, in particular, the one about the Eltman Z-Score. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. If you haven't already seen it, you might want to check that out. Panasonic. Well, you know, the truth is here, Panasonic are kind of a, a beacon of light in Japan, because truthfully in Japan, they're being disrupted by, well, not only by China, but also by America every minute of every day. They're losing ground. People just don't realize it yet because, well, remember when Nokia phones were really popular, right as smartphones was actually on the market? The reality is when the iPhone was on the market, Nokia was still selling millions and millions of those old analog handsets. Sure, they weren't really analog, but you get my point, right? They were still selling millions of them and people just didn't see this disruption that was about to hit. Blackberry, same thing. Toyota, Nissan. Honda, Mitsubishi, Suzuki, Mazda, they're all sitting in that little boat right now. And that boat is about to be crushed. But Panasonic, on the other hand, well, they've pivoted in a very interesting way into manufacturing batteries as being their primary source of income. So they are one of the few Japanese companies in the automotive industry that are primed for huge growth and huge success. And they've just officially announced that its energy company will produce the new 4680 cylindrical lithium ion batteries in Japan, as well as in the United States, in order to expand its business globally. I'm going to guess the Japanese government has provided them some kind of incentive to actually manufacture them in Japan. That would make a lot of sense. So Panasonic will establish a production facility at their Wakayama factory in Western Japan to manufacture 4680 cylindrical cells which were first unveiled in October of 2021. Inside EV says the cells and manufacturing line are under development specifically at Tesla's request. To contribute to the rapid adoption of EVs, Panasonic has been working to enhance its lineup of automotive lithium ion batteries. Currently, Panasonic is developing a new high capacity lithium ion battery, the 4680, in multiple locations within Japan. Production capabilities in preparation for the full rollout. Now, many people don't realize that Tesla don't just have a 4680 cell production line at their factory in Cato Road in California. They also have one at the factory in Texas. Yep, it's true. There are current battery production lines installed there right now. Whether they're operational or not, I don't actually know. I know they have been installed. Really, if you think about it, what did Ford just say? Ford just blamed BYD because they only produced and sold 400 electric vehicles in China in January. Ford made the choice of their own accord to have one battery supplier in China. Tesla is trying to avoid that kind of mistake. Don't have one supplier, have many. Tesla plan on having LG Chem, Panasonic, Samsung, CATL, BYD, Goshon High Tech, and their own battery production lines. That is seven different sources of batteries. Maybe Ford should rethink blaming BYD for their decision to have only one source. Getting back to this story, there's a catch. Panasonic intends to start serious production in the fiscal year ending March 2024. In other words, they're starting production in 2023. So around about one year from now, the Japanese supply will build two production lines in Japan but it hasn't revealed the investment amount or the manufacturing output. The rumor reported by Nikkei in January mentioned an investment of 704 million US dollars and 10 gigawatt hours per year of output, which is, to be honest, a minuscule number, especially if you compare that number to the 200 gigawatt output that apparently Goshon High Tech will be building for Tesla in the United States, which is insane. That, I mean, that's a 10 gigawatt hours sounds too small to me. But anyway, I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about Goshon High Tech building those LFP battery factories for Tesla, which I think is a game changer. Along with structural improvements to additional production lines, as well as utility facilities, will be established at the Wakayama factory 
and productivity verification and mass production are set to begin in the fiscal year ending in March 2024. Now, like I said, I highly doubt that 10 gigawatt hour figure. I'm going to guess it'll be at least a minimum of 30. Now, Inside EVs is saying this. This is what they said. In other words, in the initial one to two years, Tesla is basically on its own regarding 4680 type batteries. Well, that's not true. Tesla will be building the cells, of course, in Germany, in Texas, in California, and also Panasonic is going to be building them for them in the United States as well. But LG Chem and Samsung are both working on 4680 cells, and I think there's a good chance CATL will be as well, considering they're building a factory three kilometers down the road from Tesla's factory in China, which is going to produce 70 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. Don't worry, inside EVs, Tesla are not producing batteries alone. I know you'd like to spin that though, because there's a lot of people that read your publication that hate Tesla and they love it when you say things like that. Anyway, just thought I'd add that in there. Now, like I said, Tesla did strike a deal with LG Chem to produce 4680 cells as well. We don't know exactly where that's at, but I believe that's under development right now. The other thing to consider is 4680 is just the outside dimension of the cell. That's just the height and the width of the cell. So realistically, why could not every manufacturer working for Tesla right now produce these cells as well? Really, it's just a matter of time in my belief. Of course, there is one key issue. Without the tabless feature, they don't work. So the cells do have to be redesigned to some degree in comparison to Tesla's 2170 and 18650 cells. They are different, no doubt. Now, Panasonic actually said back in November of 2021 that they, are, that they at that time, were close to completing product development of the new 4680 cells. Here's what they said. Battery division CEO Kazuo Tadanobu told Nikkei, in terms of product development, the technological goals have largely been achieved. We will conduct trials toward mass production and hone the process in Japan until it can be deployed quickly. Now, Panasonic has said that it's been in discussions with Tesla since September of 2020 to produce their 4680 cells. It's just taking them a while to actually develop them and get those production lines sorted. On that note, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the 4680 battery cell. Will we see it in all Tesla vehicles potentially next year? Is Tesla going to move away from 2170s and 18650s? Or do you think we're going to see, continue to see Tesla use 2170s and 4680s in conjunction? That's what I think, but let me know what you think. Have a great day. See you again. Bye-bye.